Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. I wanted to share yet another amazing email that just came in from one of my clients. She's sharing some incredible movement with her and her specific person. So I'm going to just dive right in and read this because I don't have too much time. My session's about to start with my client. So before I do get into the story, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you love my content. If you want me to be your coach, email me a short description to kim at coreunion.com and I'll reply back to you with my next available after you've booked on my website, coreunion.com. You can do a 30 minute or a package. Most people prefer the packages because it does make meeting with me more than once, just super affordable. My client here was on the package. And I think we have, we might have one more session coming up, but I'm not sure if we had our last session or not. But in any case, I'm going to read this. So she wrote, hi, Kim. I hope you take a couple of minutes to read this. Just wanted to let you know that since our last call on May 9th, I have continued to detach from lack, persist in being worthy of love, and really focus on my self-concept. I also had been focus focusing a lot on my power and faith in the law in general. That is a huge key. All while at the same time, really just going moment to moment during the th doing the things that bring me joy, love, and laughter. Perfect. I noticed my specific person unblocked me on Instagram and started watching all my stories. Then he called me five times when I was away on my work trip. I finally called back when I had the time and we've been texting for a week now. One of his direct quotes Saturday was F. I have a desire to be with you and I think about everything often. You've never been less than an amazing person in my eyes and I didn't treat you the way you deserved. I want so much more than to keep rooting for you on the sidelines. So much more is everything. Another day together because I want you, another chance because I miss you, and a life with you because I love you. Wow. I didn't, I did not read this fully. Wow. My heart just like, wow. I keep coming back to us because all the things we have trump any of the reasons I leave. Wow. 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 He told me on his seven day cruise with his third party with the third party rather, he was thinking of me the entire time and that he was sorry that it wasn't me. She put in parentheses, I was affirming that he was going to wish it was me on vacation because I'm irreplaceable and our, advent our, our adventures together were always the best. He said he's only with her because he feels stuck in the mess he created and guilty about shattering her heart. But he knows the right thing to do is to muster up the courage to tell her it's over. Wow. 3D is not yet fully conformed, so I am continuing to live my best life and let God handle the rest. Amazing. Anyway, I'm in a really good headspace and feel like I am thriving mentally, physically, and financially with a clear vision of my ideal specific person. I have truly surrendered. The outside world matters a lot less to me, and I can really see a shift in myself. So thank you. Then I wrote back to her, morning, this is amazing, and I'll create a video today keeping everything confidential, of course. She just replied back, I appreciate all your help and insight that got me to a better place on my journey. Kiss, kisses and hugs. Such inspiration. And her old story obviously involved a third party. She's taking full responsibility for the experiences that she has, knowing that it's all reflecting her consciousness back to her. Every single detail about her him, the relationship. So if she continues to take full responsibility, he will be able to then take full responsibility for her and their life together too. Another thing that I want to just add onto this that actually just came into my head and something said, share this part too. She was starting to experience that thing of, he basically didn't feel like he measured up to her. Like he didn't feel like he was worthy of being with her. I just wanted to, I pointed out to her, this was during our last session, I also want you to, alongside of everything that, that we're doing, everything you're doing, I want you to always also start seeing him, that he knows his value, he knows his worth, and that he's stepping up now. And see him in that light, that he is like strong, he's powerful, he's, you know, and see him that way. So that's another thing that I wanted to mention that's relevant for some of you guys. I don't know, but I know Whoever's out there listening to you right now, you needed to hear that. So claim it if you want down below, but please do comment down below that you are completely inspired to and motivated to stay in your end, 
your most health, both, oh my God, most healthy self-concept is that you know that God created you as being the creator of your reality and that you wouldn't have this soul's desire unless it's what God wants for you. So let God handle all of the hows and all the whens and just stop messing with the 3D and stay in faith, live in love, live in love of yourself, live in love of your person and the relationship together. See the two of you guys absolutely loving each other, supporting each other, believing in each other, pulling each other through, being each other's biggest fans. The relationship is of deep, harmonious, secure love. The two of you guys are the love of each other's lives. You've never met anybody who you love so deeply, and this love is deep, immense, profound. It's more than you've ever even felt before, and it's more than they've ever felt before. And maybe because of that, the two of you guys got a little scared. But now, because you've been doing this inner work and healing, your other half, your mirror soul, has also been doing whatever needs to happen in their mind, in their heart. As much as you're wanting them, they're wanting you equally. In this moment, as you listen to my words, they are thinking of you, they're feeling you, they're wanting you. When you allow yourself to feel deeply into that and trust deeply into that love, in that security, being that version of you who so incredibly loved, adored, cherished, respected, valued, secure, and that you are in your divine power, your beautiful and perfect equal counterpart is loving you equally as much when you can trust in that and see them feeling that and allowing yourself to feel secure in that. Okay? So- I love you guys so much. Comment down below that you received that with a heart. Say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, know that it is done and get in trust and faith and just let the 3D go, okay? Let the old version of you and let the old version of your person go. Start fresh and new. You have that opportunity literally every day. We only have the now moment. So in every now moment that you are conscious, be conscious of the truth about what you want and stay in that. Okay. I love you so much. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.